Hello, everybody. Yes, I triple for you. <laughs> I am Jeanette Chong Aroldos, and I'm the candidate for Mountbatten. Yes. May I know if there are any Mountbatten residents here? Yes. Hello. <laughs> okay, but dear fellow Singaporeans. <laughs> As you all know, I am a practicing lawyer with over 20 years of legal experience. I run a successful law firm. I am happily married and I have four children. I was very aware that I risked all of this by standing here. But the more I witness firsthand how crowded our private and common, space, common spaces have become, the more I became affected by the relentless rising cost of living, the more I realized how disconnected from Singapore our young ones have become, and the more I considered the effects that policies of the PAP-led government had on people, policies which created heartaches and hardships for many of us, I had to stand up. Since our last general elections 2006, the cost of everything has gone up. Petrol, public transport, tuition fees in our tertiary education, postage, night parking charges, ERP, premiums for MediShield and ElderShield, fees in polyclinics and public hospitals, rentals of office, shop, market, hawker stalls, everything has gone up. <laughs> In their worldwide cost of living survey, Merkel has ranked Singapore as the 11th costliest country in the world. But companies like Singapore Power, SBS, SMRT, companies which provide our country with essentials like utilities and transport, which are in essence monopolies, the profits of these companies go up year on year. Last month, SP Services announced that electricity will increase starting from 1st April. Now in the same report, it, has, it was stated that the government has taken steps to keep inflation in check by persuading hawkers to refrain from increasing prices. Recently, MPs have been going around hawker centres and coffee shops asking stallholders to be part of the retail price watch group. They have asked them to promise to maintain their prices. The retail price watch group said that they were encouraged to see these businesses taking the trouble to help Singaporeans mitigate their increase in costs in prices. Four days ago, Miss Tin Pei Ling <laughs> member of the GRC team of Marine Parade announced to the media that she has spoken to the McPherson Merchants Association on the matter of rising costs and that the merchants of, uh, of uh, Macpherson have promised to keep prices stable for the next six months. Uh, Ms. Tin said she hoped the move would help residents cope with the rising cost of living. Okay. Now bear with me, bear with me, I'm coming to a point. Just two days ago, I read a letter to a newspaper written by a person who was talking about his friend who owns a food stall in Old Airport Road Hawker Centre. The National Environment Agency, NEA, had raised the rent of his friend's stall by 35% with effect from 1st April. 
unhappy with the 35% increase in rent, his friend went to see his MP, Mr. Lim Biao Chuan. The good Mr. Lim Biao Chuan duly wrote an appeal letter to NEA, but NEA rejected the appeal. NEA said that the rent increase was justified because it was in line with prevailing economic conditions. <laughs> so it seems that the ruling party and the agencies that work under them are at cross purposes. On one hand, we have MPs talking to merchants and associations to keep prices down, and MPs writing letters of appeal to reconsider price increases of store rentals. While on the other hand, you see agencies wanting to raise the rental of stalls to be in line with prevailing economic conditions. How can a stall holder or shopkeeper maintain his price with such increase in rentals and not pass the increase to his customers? So, coming back to Ms. Lim Pei, Tin Pei Ling, her well-meaning efforts to rally a pledge from merchants and hawkers of Macpherson to freeze prices for the next six months. Did Miss Tin remember to ask NEA not to increase rent for these stalls? No. No. If Miss Tin Paling did not remember to do that, then the NEA can always raise rent at any time on the basis that they have to stay in line with prevailing economic conditions. Then this will leave the merchants of Macpherson with a dilemma. Will they uh, break their pledge with, to Miss Tin or absorb the increase in rent, thereby taking on for themselves the burden of the rising costs? So these are questions. It is for all these reasons that there must be more opposition in Parliament. Yeah. To ask the hard questions. To ensure that the government will work for the people and not the other way around. Dear voters of Mountbatten, this is a time like never before. For the first time in 20 years, you are now able to vote. You have not been able to vote for the last 20 years because of the GRC system, which has denied your right to vote, your right to choose. But now, now you have a choice. Now you have the power to make things right for yourself and your loved ones. Now you have the power to say, enough is enough. enough. <laughs> if elected, I promise that I will be your voice in Parliament. Yes. <laughs> to act as a check and balance to the government, to call for transparency, and to hold the government accountable for good governance. Yes. Send me into parliament so that at last, we Singaporeans will have a say over issues that affect us all. At last, we shall have a real stake in how our country is run and in how our future will be. A vote okay, for me is a vote for change. Vote for your future. Vote for your loved ones. Vote for Mountbatten and vote for Singapore. Thank you. Thank you, Jeanette.